Are we live? Yeah. We are. We're live. It's live. It's happening. We're totally live. Uh, what day is it, Beth? It's November 10th. It's felt like Friday ever since the election. It's Thursday, It's not November Friday 10th. yet. Uh, uh, okay. Yes, and well, hello. Harold Perrineau's here, everybody. And the Cherry Orchard. Uh, and, and like something called Lost. You, might, like you a, might know that. And like a million movies you've seen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been a fan He's of his for a really long time, but we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Um, what, any news today? What's going on? A couple things. A couple things? What's happening? Well, some really big news is that there, there's going to be a volume two of the Hamilton mixtape. So, Lynn, like a year ago, announced the first mixtape. Now it's finally yeah. coming out. December 2nd. And now he, it's not out yet. Yeah. December 2nd. And now he's already teasing us with like, Something we're going to wait another year he, for. You know, he's just tweeting in the middle of the night about whatever. <laughs> they go, by the way, there's by more. By the way, of course, but let's finish volume one. That's and the songs are trickling out, aren't they? If you okay. Everyone was chatting about a song today. I don't, yeah, they're, they're slowly trickling out. It's anyway, exciting. it's going to be so a big that's cool. Christmas gift, I guess, right? Yeah. Yes. Maybe a Christmas gift next year, too. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe a little bit even more. Um, a Star is Born. I know you're excited about this. A yeah. Star is Born. I actually heard uh, Lady Gaga on the Howard Stern show talking about this this movie and about her and Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Yeah, yeah. And well, it has I, a release date now. Okay, when's it coming out? September 28th, 2018. What? I know. Two more years? It's like a year and a half. I don't want to think about it yet. It's a long time. That's, but, yeah, that's, something to look forward what? to in 2018. I'm really excited about it, though. I think it's really, um, I think it's really cool. It'll be cool, yeah. That's, That's gonna a be great a, bit, movie. a big moment. If you remember haven't seen when, the original? You need to see the original. What, remember they were talking about doing a Broadway musical? Wasn't it Dina Menzel? Yeah, you I feel just like drop a, a name saying no, no, no. I feel like Dina Menzel was doing like. Re, I'm telling you, this Star is Born is obviously the classic tale of what she's. He's famous. She's not right. He's he's yes. famous. Mm -hmm. She's like an upstart. Right. And That's then right. the and it slowly shifts. That's correct. And, uh, and you know, the original movie was all about Hollywood. Yes. And then the Barbra Streisand, the Judy Garland movie, and the Barbra Streisand. I love the Barbra Streisand. That was all about music industry. And this yes. one, uh, we don't really know what it is. No. Maybe it's about Broadway. Maybe it's the Broadway star is born. I don't know. I'm just throwing You're it just out there. really throwing everything out there today. And um, you know what else might happen by 2018? What? Lady Gaga might be on Broadway. That would be nice. Just putting that out there, too. Come to us, Lady Gaga. <laughs> get off the sanitation truck and come to Broadway. Remember when she sang Sound of Music? Everyone was like... She's... She, she can, can kind of do it all. She anyway, can do it. and I like her new album, Haters. Sorry. No one's hating here. <laughs> my own, uh, I have my own issues today. <laughs> Unless you want to keep on talking about Lady Gaga, we do have more news. Should we move on? There's a Broadway musical starting tonight. Can we talk about that? Yes. That doesn't happen all the time. No. In Transit. Starting. Starts tonight. This is the first a cappella Broadway show. That's true. I was actually trying to he catch was you doing in the math. He was I was trying to see if they're. Well, I mean, I'm just reading what they're telling me. I, I actually didn't do all. I haven't seen every. Wait, does that mean there's no band at all? That's what acapella means. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, mean, <laughs> but I mean, like, there's no play out there's music. No there's no. I wonder how that's gonna work. Now I'm really fascinated. Well, you can see it okay. starting tonight at Circle, Circle the Square. Circle the Square it Theater. It opens officially on December 11th. It's under Wicked. It's next it's to in Wicked. That, under. Yeah. It's in that. It's in that area. There. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm seeing a musical tonight. You are. Sweet Charity. Super excited. <sighs> the new Foster. Sweet Charity with mm. Sutton Foster. Very excited. Yes. Anyway. Anyway, there's more news. Okay. Uh, Brandon Victor Dixon. Who we love. Who's in Hamilton. Who's in Hamilton. Is going to be in Stars as Power in the fourth season of that show. It's called Power. Power. It sounds like it's a, you're saying stars. it's called Stars as Power. Stars. It's on Stars. It's, it's called, called Power. 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 Right? I've never, I haven't seen it. BBD. But I'm, I'm going to watch him. But I'm going to yes, watch him he's on that. genius. Because he's amazing. Uh, Tony Chalhoub is going to MC something called Broadway Salutes the Blue Card. What is that? It's a benefit for, it's a non-profit organization that helps Holocaust survivors. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be in it? Well, some really big names. <laughs> Harold Perrineau is laughing at us right now, but that's okay. That's cool. It's cool. We can handle it. It's November 21st, we got Linda Lavin, okay. Lainey Kazan, uh -huh. Raul Esparza. Oh, we like him. Where's he been? On, on TV. SV, yeah. On um, TV. And, and the Broadway cast of, of the cast of the Broadway Bound Indecent, which you're very intrigued by. Lesbian Kiss Play. Gotta love it. Coming in the spring. Gotta love it. Uh, Broadway, Broadway's Carol's for a cure. That's consider. like an annual thing. It's an annual thing. You're still stocking stuff. What's volume is it? 18th. So it started I have the right, answer. It started right before you and I started working here. Your math is amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Broadway's Carol's for a cure. Yeah. Right before you and I started working here. Your math is amazing. Wow. That's coming up. That, uh, there's a new track by Anthony Ramos, who is in Hamilton. He wrote oh. something called I Can See the Light. Cool. And he performs it. And Jesse Mueller and the cast of Waitress sing a Sarah Barella song That's cool. called Love is Christmas. And all proceeds go to one of our favorite charities. Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. 
I've spent... Oh, well, I should just tell you about the features on the site today, because there's some cool things. Okay, what do we, we have? We have the new girl in... in I almost said Hamilton. In Waitress. Caitlin. Caitlin Houlihan. We have a lot of... Kate, we have two Caitlins at work here. We... Caitlin Houlihan is not eligible for a job she here. There's too Dawn. many Caitlins. She plays Dawn in Waitress, and apparently she was a waitress at one point. So the she, video is really adorable. She's really cute. She's really cute, yeah. She's really cute. Uh, in Bronx Bullet with Ariana DeBose. Which is our Bronx tail vlog. You all know that because it's the seventh episode. Well, I'm just so. making sure but somebody just tuned in for the first in case time. you just tuned in to see Harold Perrin. Harold Perrin, I didn't know. <laughs> see? But Ariana DeBose goes around the cast and asks them to shout out to the person who helped them or encourage them to be a performer. Oh, that's nice. Richard Blake was encouraged by Tommy Walsh. Oh. Spoiler, if you haven't watched the vlog. And if Original you don't know cast Tommy of course Walsh line. Is, that's correct. There you go. <laughs> and we have a character study with Christine Dwyer, who was obviously an Alpha and Wicca, but, th but now she's Sylvia Llewellyn Davies in the tour of Finding Neverland, and that's really sweet. Also, I'm going to get out of here because we've got a big star here. Oh, you're done? I'm going to get out. You're out? Ladies and gentlemen, see okay. you later. Bye. All right, everyone. Uh, Harold Perrineau, come on in. <laughs> Look, look at that thing. Right? It's just like, it's like you're at the American Airlines. I but, love yeah. exactly. Uh, <laughs> how are you? I'm really, really good. Welcome to Broadway. Well, thank you. I, I, I just felt like I, wow, I don't know anything. You guys know everything about Broadway. You can this stop is, by every every day and sit here. I, if you, if you have nothing better to do. You can you, listen you to the news. You should all stop by here, too. They or you can watch it on Facebook every, yeah. every day. That. That's See that? Yeah, that's you I get the news in like in a minute. How are you? I'm really well. You know, I'm a big fan of yours, and this is going to kind of blow your mind, but I'm a big fan of yours. From the Young Player Hits Festival. Cut it out. See, I just, blow, I just blew your mind. <laughs> Pow! <Boom. laughs> oh, I got it on the And camera. that was Sorry. what? Like, no. like, like, I think like 1990 I'm talking about? Yeah, we were talking about something like that. 90. You did a couple Jeez. of them. Yes, I used to do them. They have a series called the, um, the Young Playwrights Festival. Yeah, it was at, it was uh, at Playwrights Horizons. It was at Playwrights Horizons. And did you say that, Young Playwrights Festival? Or did you say that? I said that, yeah, yeah. Oh, I said sorry. That. I'm really, I'm and just it, so excited to be here. It was not this really great that. organization. Yes. Uh, and they did, uh, the kids wrote plays. Right, so exactly. like, like It was a series of short plays. Right, right. And then they would and get then, professional actors mm -hmm. to be in them. Mm -hmm. And uh, them Stephen Sondheim and, is a big supporter of that organization. Yeah. It was uh, anyway, yeah, so I, rem I, rem I remember That's how crazy. amazing you were. That's and I awesome. saw good things for you. <laughs> and I was like, look at that, oh, look at that kid. He's super talented. <laughs> one day he's going to be something. And one day he'll be on Broadway. But I didn't think it would take so many years. It a long time. This is your Broadway debut. In the show, my, sure. This is my Broadway acting debut. If someone reminded me. What of does that. that mean? Well, so I was I I was a replacement uh, in the chorus for the Dream Girls revival. Oh wow! At in, the Ambassador. Uh, it must, yes, at the Ambassador. That's, it was at the Ambassador, I, right know, next door. He knows you were on this block. He knows everything. <laughs> I've been everything. stalking you. No, for just twenty six years. years. <laughs> stalking Broadway, I think. Uh, <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so so I was a dancer uh, in the. Oh really? Of that, and so this is my Broadway acting debut. And this is so fancy. To yeah. Do a <laughs> I know, right? Because let's face it, you were also like in Fame, the musical, right? Oh. <laughs> right? Like you have like, and like yeah, you have like a whole other side to you. I have a whole other deal. Yeah. But like. I I think Lost made you like super serious and like like super legit, right? Uh, no, I, I I think I think people thought after Romeo and Juliet I was oh, legit. Well, I think yeah, that's hello. what they thought. But then yeah, hello. I'm still not legit, so <laughs> I don't know why they would think. You've done a lot of uh, very dramatic <laughs> things, but I love that you yes. can sing and dance too. Yeah, I know. So what you wanna like be in Hamilton or something? I, if I only I could. They <laughs> they are so good. Like I I was watching it going like I could never do that. I I wouldn't I wouldn't know how to do that. I don't they're so they're way better at it, so yeah. So, how are things over at the American Airlines? You're in the Roundabout Theater production. Mm -hmm. uh, Diane Lane. Diane Lane. How's she? Joel Gray. John, yeah. Diane Lane is just spectacular. Yeah. So awesome to work Joel with. Joel Gray was here. I interviewed him recently. Oh, did you really? Yep. Was it fun? Yep. Yeah. And He's Celia Hickin Bolger was just here. Celia Do, is a, a lot of people so have been in this room before you. <laughs> a lot of your co stars. I actually you feel, feel your it. I feel it. I feel the power <laughs> of everyone's it's, a, it's like a really cool cast. It's a great cast. Uh, John Glover is there. Oh. Chuck Cooper. Yeah. Uh, Kyle. Um, I can't think of Kyle's last name right now. Beltran. Yeah. Beltran. Sorry, Kyle. Yeah. That was Beltran. an accident. Totally just Thanks, slipped. Caitlin. That's totally the Caitlin. slipped. So we have That's a, the other Caitlin. It's an, ama it's an amazing cast. That's the other Caitlin? This is the Caitlin. The, the, the devil. The, the I and the Y. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlin, I, Caitlin, Y. That's anyway. Awesome. Um, so, uh, yes, it's a great cast. And, and, and it's an amazing production. Like, we really do work. As an, an ensemble, and, mm -hmm. and that's what uh, uh, the director Simon uh, Godwin tried to create this ensemble. And so, uh, if you come to see it, you'll really see it. It's like a big, 
moving ensemble uh-huh. of people working. It's really good. I don't know what I was trying Celia to say. Celia Keenan Bolzer was telling me that when she first took the job, she was kind of like, oh, no, Chuck Off is just going to be like, oh. <laughs> But now she's like, it's so much fun to show up for work. I yeah. get because of the people and because she just loves like the energy of yeah. all of that. That you, really you is experiencing the, that? Uh, the same thing. Were you like, oh, no, Chuck Off? No, when they called me and said, hey, do you want to do Chuck Off on Broadway? And I, and I was like, yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like I remember rereading it and going it took me two days to reread it again because I go like oh <laughs> yeah, right right uh, where was I <laughs> so and it's not that it's boring to read it just doesn't doesn't read as well as it once you get into it and uh-huh. start playing it, that's when you realize well, clearly how... clearly actors love that. I mean, yeah. yeah. Actors love digging into that. Once you get, start that's digging stuff. into it, it's so exciting. Then you realize all those, like, what a great writer he is. What a great, great writer he is. And that's, that's, where, that's where the fun is. So were you looking for um, a Broadway return? From, everyone missed you since your dream girls on Broadway? <laughs> the people were you, were you clamoring like, seeking, to get in. <laughs> were you seeking a Broadway job? Or Remember that dancer number you? three? Wait till he comes back. Three. <laughs> Wait, were you one of the, like, step into the bad side dancers? Oh, 100%. Those guys also. The, step uh, into the bad side. So, so good. So good. So yeah, yeah. Um, so like, I wanted to come back to do Broadway. I had been doing... Um, uh, you know, TV and movies and stuff yeah. like that. And then uh, right before I did Lost, I did the uh, the uh, national tour of Top Dog, Underdog. Ooh. That was in 2004. Oh, I didn't realize you did that. Uh, yeah, and fire. so I, well, after that, I was like, man, I just got to get back. Are you the Top Dog or the Underdog? <laughs> just, <laughs> just depends on how you see it, but yeah. I played Lincoln, so it was, okay. it was fun. Um, and so, yeah, I've been looking for something to do and hoping that I could get back here because... I love New York. I love being in New York. Uh, my, my two younger kids hadn't been here, and I was like, I'm a New Yorker. How do they... How old are your kids? Uh, my younger ones are eight and three. Okay. And my older daughter is 22. Uh-huh. So. And you grew up in Brooklyn. I grew up in Brooklyn. Uh-huh. I did. And, uh, and Aurora grew up here as well. She's my oldest one. Uh-huh. And, uh, and she's out you know, doing her own thing as well and being you know, an actress. And it's going well. So what do your kids think about Broadway and um, you in the show and have they seen it? My eight year old has seen okay. it. She's, uh, I can't take my three year old. Right. Because you you don't know what she'll do. We, <laughs> nobody knows what she'll do in the audience. So <laughs> no, she stays home. Um, <laughs> but the eight year old, she's she loves it. She comes backstage and she meets she hangs out every time she sees John Glover, she's like, John Glover like their, home, <laughs> their homies or something. <laughs> um, the only thing my youngest one has done is she's come and she's met Diane Lane. Uh-huh. And she said to my wife, Diane Lane is the most beautiful woman in all the land. <laughs> in all the land. In all the land. That's amazing. I don't know where she got that. She, she, she pretty stunning. <laughs> She's pretty stunning. So uh, they, like, they like New York a lot. I think uh, my kid likes Broadway, and so that's the answer to your question. Uh-huh. They, they, like, they, love, they love being here. They want to move back. And so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So but is your main home out in California? Right now it is, because that's where all the work's been. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, it's been there, but like, I really do want to come back and come back more. And so that was what the hope was in doing the Cherry Orchard. Like, maybe people go like, oh, he can actually, you know, he can act a little or something. And so then maybe I'll get other job opportunities, and that's what I'm hoping. So did, so did you realize when you were filming that Lost Pilot that there was like going to become one of these things. I mean, that, that, first, that, that first episode was amazing. And you're on that beach. I went to that beach, by the way. We you did? Just filmed that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, like, that's what I lost group I was like, I'm going to go find that beach. I found the beach. And I was like, this is where they did it. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no. I, I wasn't. Uh, my wife was. I, we shot it, and it was really amazing. Like, like, JJ didn't let us see the plane until we were shooting it. So like he held oh. us and held us, and then we kind of rehearsed some stuff. And then we oh, showed so up one day, to it. and I was like, oh, my God, there's a plane on the beach like oh my god the plane's not still there <laughs> it's not I didn't still get there. to see the plane I had to imagine but, it yeah like it's not a set it's not nothing like literally they bought a plane and anyway it was amazing and uh, and when we shot it it felt really fun it felt really cool but you never know in Hollywood like some stuff yeah. does, some stuff doesn't and um, when my wife saw it she said this is going to be the most amazing show in television history. And I was like, calm down. <laughs> calm down. You're, it's okay. I know you love me. It's okay. We got shows like Lucille Ball and like all, like all these amazing shows, but we're going to be great. No, you're right. It turns out it's really one of the greatest shows. I look at that. Right? <laughs> and really is, is the fan base real? Like, do you experience it regularly? Last night when I had Broadway Cares Bucket, uh-huh. Waiting and holding it. You were the bucket people. boy. I was the bucket boy. <laughs> Somebody literally came out and said, Walt, I was waiting for you to stand on stage. <laughs> right. <laughs> Doing check off, and somewhere in there I was going to scream, Walt. <laughs> so, yes, they're real. Josh wants to know if you want to do more Shakespeare, and how did Romeo and Juliet, Romeo plus Juliet, mm-hmm. change your career? 
Um, like we said earlier. Oh, so the answer is yes, I do want to do more Shakespeare. Okay. I have a, a couple of them I really want to do. Um, and uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, changed my career because, yeah, I guess people saw that I could actually do more stuff than, uh, you know, play the, like I did in the Young Playwrights Festival. Festival, the young I drug dealer, from the, young <laughs> the young drug dealer who took other people from Juliet. Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of established me as like, oh, it's a guy who can really do some different things, and so uh -huh. it was really, really helpful uh, in that, and and also made me kind of cool in the streets because. Um, one girl did like this to me once. She goes, oh, my God, you were Mercutio, right? I go, uh-huh. She goes, you know Leonardo DiCaprio? I go, yep. She goes, touch me! It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it made me kind of cool out in the street. I knew Leo. And if I touch you somehow, that means something. I don't know. Uh, Anna, Anna said she loves Lost too. Okay. What's your favorite memory from doing the show? Do you have one? I mean, that's probably hard to pick. Well, that's it's kind of hard to pick, but... But what I will say is that the first season of Lost is maybe my, my the most fun time I've had on television ever. Because like we, we really were a little bit like on the show because we were off working all the time and on this little island and people were watching it and we knew, but we kind of really didn't understand. Yeah. And so we really were close. It made us really, really mm -hmm. close. And then after that first season, when we all like flew back to our homes, we, People were like losing their mind. And right. Like, oh my god. Right. Oh my god. This is a. Oh my god. This is a thing. Yeah, but but that first year, all that work, and we worked really hard and really close together, and that was really that's sort of my favorite mm -hmm. favorite thing about the. About Did you like living in Hawaii? I loved living in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hawaii is, is beautiful. I got bored a little. Yeah. At first, mm -hmm. at first I was like, you know, so paradise, surfing. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then uh, once I kind of hung out there, it was like, oh, now I get it. And so, yeah, I didn't actually want to go. I didn't want to leave. Damn it, smoke monsters. So no. would you still consider doing a musical? Is that something you would consider doing? Uh, 100%. Oh, right. 100%. Any dream role? Any musical dream roles? No, I don't. I, don't ha I used to have that now, and I, and I found out if... And then you got fame, and you were like, well, that was it. That was it. <laughs> you were Leroy, right? Leroy, Leroy. yeah. <laughs> I almost said the wrong line just now. Uh, Leroy, it's my audition. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so, yeah, I used to say, oh, I want to do this, I want to do yeah. that. And my career has actually been way more interesting than anything I've wanted to do. So cool. I just kind of hang out and let it happen. So. Uh, so what do you want people to know about Cherry Orchard and check off. People might be a little scared off by check off. Right. Like, tell the people about why they should come check Well, off. here, this is why you should come. One, check off is the reason it's a classical play is because it always relates through the ages. That's one. Yep. And this version, um, this adaptation done by Stephen Carroll, is very relatable to American audiences. And so when you come, you will enjoy it. You honestly will laugh and you will cry. You'll feel stuff. You'll you'll relate to characters and it won't at all be like a staid, boring, right. like like you're in English class or anything. It's a real it's a great theatrical experience. Cool. I almost lost the ability to speak there. <laughs> you got it out. I got it out. Um, but yeah, it's a really great theatrical experience. So really, come, hang out with us, uh, and, and, and en you'll enjoy it. Trust me. And, and if you don't, you can come backstage and tell me. Come back there. And you could see someone who's met Leo. Leo, and I'll touch you. He's met Leo Wait and Walt. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming thank by. Thank you for having me. Pleasure so much to fun. meet you after yes. all these years. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks for watching Live at Five. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. You watch it too.